Hey guys, welcome back to Rule the World. Last episode, what did we do? Well, we set up a massive 64 by 64 block quarry that Simon and Lewis have been working hard chopping at. But unfortunately, the chunk loader is only into the quarry and not into the NPC. So if I had like a windmill set up, it would probably keep that thing turning. But unfortunately, since I've logged off, Simon and Lewis have taken it easy. They've slacked a bit. They've hung out in the town hall and the storehouse and they haven't really done much work on the quarry. So we're gonna have to leave myself logged in so they can get back to work and start digging that massive hole because oh my god, it's gonna take them forever. But this episode, what we're gonna do is we're gonna build the tavern and I just can't wait to resurrect the Laughing Skull Tavern. Yeah, that's right. You might remember it from Shin's farm. It was basically me and Lewis confronted a demon and we locked that demon inside a glass cage and then we built a pub around it because hey, why not have your drinks while there's a dangerous demon in a cage right in front of you because that's an awesome way to get drunk. So let's jump in game and make my house the place to be. All right, guys, yeah, so you, you guys at home had the, the great idea for me to change my, my house into a pub. And I'm gonna bring back the last, oh God, oh no, I'm, I'm wrecking the cotton here. Might as well pick some cotton though while I'm here. Actually, no, we don't really need much cotton anymore because we've got all that wool. Still, I might as well plonk some of it into the storehouse. Oh yeah, I love picking cotton. All right, now we're stocked up on, uh, on cotton and reeds. I reckon it's time to get about turning my house into a tavern. Now there's a couple of things I wanna do to this place. Let's take a look and remember what's in my house already. Now we've got a bunch of chests that have like either junk or nothing in them. Yeah, that's right, none of these have anything in them, wow. So what I'll do is I'll get my axe out and just go, uh, go choppy choppy. Because these chests will come in handy when I make certain things. A lot of machines and stuff actually need chests as like a, re a recipe, like an ingredient to make them. So there's a nice little beer garden down here. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Now this can be the main floor. We can have like a bar in the corner here. Yeah, that's perfect. Have some tables and chairs near the door. And then upstairs we can have even more tables and maybe like partition this off and have a few beds over here so that people can, actually I want, I want some tables and chairs out here on the balcony as well so people can enjoy the view. Cause oh yeah, look at that, look at that magnificent view. In fact, oh my God, there's a sunken pirate ship. I don't believe I didn't see that before, but there's a sunken pirate ship down there in the middle. Now it looks like my Britannia garden is doing great. And in fact, I'll probably have to get back to that and, uh, and get a bit closer to being able to fly because then I can start building my castle. Because of course, if I'm gonna turn my old house into a pub, I'm gonna need somewhere for myself to sleep. And you know, I just want a castle because I feel like a real medieval lord at the moment. So I just want to have a, have a castle to kind of finish that feeling off. Now there's a few things we want to grab to make this inn a real inn. And that's, well, for one, we'll need a sign. So there's the sign. Now we're gonna need to make a painting as well, but don't worry, I've added a new custom texture in, much like this, uh, this build and grow sigil, my, my, my house coat of arms, I've got myself a custom sign for the Laughing Demon Inn. Right, so what else will we need? We're gonna need tables and chairs, so table. What kind of a table do we want? Well, bibliocraft tables are great. So we're gonna go for these. And that's pretty simple, just oak wood slabs and planks. But we're also gonna need a chair or two. Seat, here we go, that's right, bibliocraft seats. So how do you make a bibliocraft seat? Wool, which we've got plenty of luckily. Sticks, slabs, and pressure plates. Okay, everything's coming into place. Well, that's all well and good. We've got tables and chairs, but what else can we make with bibliocraft that's gonna look cool inside a tavern and is really gonna fit the theme? An oak clock, oh, look at that. Yeah, we're definitely one of those. That's gonna class the place up no end. It's gonna be a real classy joint. We're also gonna need, oh, let's take a look. Furniture paneler, no. An oak desk, not really. He wants to do work inside the pub. Typing, printing, an armor stand. Now there is an idea actually. We should have some armor stands in the blacksmith to show off our armor. But also because when people come back from a hard day's soldiering, they're gonna wanna hang up their, oh there's Martin in the background. They're gonna wanna hang up their armor and just get, you know, get down to, you know, hanging out in non-armor. Because if you hang around in like iron armor, that's gonna be really annoying and difficult. Now, what else are we gonna need? Because we also want to make a bard NPC. So what do we need to make a bard? Well, the same as any other NPC. I think he's, um, in fact, actually, let's, let's look it up. Right, so a bard, where are you? It's one of the white backgrounds and it should have like a lute, like a little medieval guitar. There's the icon, there we go, the bard, that's a lute. 
So what's the recipe for him? I need a loot, two gold, and a food bundle. No sweat, got loads of food bundles. Oh, and a loot is super easy to make. But loot isn't the only instrument that we can give the bard. We need, to, we need the loot to make him, but we can actually give him a flute, a harp, or a drum. Now, it doesn't matter. It's actually just for looks. It doesn't change how they sound. So I want to give my guy a harp, because harps are cool, so I'm going to need some string. Unfortunately, there's no string in here, but I could probably make some string out of the wool. Or maybe even the cotton that I just picked. Oh, yeah, perfect. All right, let's get about making uh, some food bundles. I wonder if there's any food in here we can use. We'll take some apples, because apples are useful for making food. Uh, I might have to cook a raw chicken. Oh, man, look how much food we actually do have. Like 600 chickens. I'll take some pork chops and some beef. In fact, I'll take some coal upstairs as well, so we can get cooking this stuff. So we've already got some, uh, already got some coal in here. I'm going to cook up some chickens. And in this one, I will cook up going to get that coal out and start using logs and I'm going to cook up some beef in here and we can switch out for some pork chops in a bit. Right, so let's get making the tables and chairs. Pretty simple so we can skip through this mostly. So that's the table and the chairs taken care of and now let's make the oak clock. So let's just crack this into the nuggets. One, two, three, four with a redstone in the middle and bam, a clock. Oh yeah! And now we need a stick. Gold at the bottom clock at the top and what were the rest of the right oak slabs now, do we have any slabs left over oh we don't okay we've got to bring those out okay here we go is it gold there and the stick in the middle or oh no no right i think the stick means it's is the stick and the gold is the pendulum there we go a dark oak clock very nice very classy oh yeah this is going to be the classiest joint in minecraft here Right, now it's time to get making the bundles that we need. Oh, we've already got 35 food bundles. That's a pretty sweet score. Right, so we just need the loot for the bard. Okay, where's the loot and how do we make it? There we go, the loot. So it's just one iron ingot, one stick and three planks. I've got everything I need for that, no sweat. I think you have to use the ancient warfare crafting for this one though. I'm not sure why there's an iron ingot. What kind of what kind of guitar has iron in it? Like, actually, I guess, I guess like kind of, if you're playing any heavy metal, you might need a bit of iron. Bam! Got a loot. Put the loot, the food bundle, and I think, what is it? Still the going rate is two gold. There we go! Bam! A bard! Sweet! So I think that's pretty much everything we need to get started with... Our, oh god, it's night time. Okay, I'm gonna have a quick sleep. Oh, another glorious day at Sjinterfell. Oh, yeah. Right, so let's, we've got all our stuff. Let's head back to the tavern and start crafting this place into the place we want it to be. The hive of just awesomeness and fun. So we're going to put down first the inn sign. Should be in my bag of bag, bag of holding. I'll get all this stuff out now. This thing's so useful, this golden bag of holding. I'm so glad Rydian showed me it. It's a pretty cool tool. So here is the sign. Now we're going to put the sign, I think, just up here. Oh, wow, look, you get like, um, you get like a little kind of thing that shows you where it's going to go. I reckon about there looks good. Blam, the inn. Oh, yeah, perfect. In fact, we could probably get a few more of these signs. That's the perfect positioning for the inn. Right, so let's start jazzing this place up. First up, we need a, a bar, and we're going to put that over here. Just like this. Bam. And this is going to be the entrance here. So this is where the bartender is going to hang out and sell us our ale. Right, so we're going to put down the tables and chairs as well now. So we want seats, and we want tables. There we go, there's one table. There's two. Oh yeah, this is looking pretty good already, actually. I like this. Get rid of that torch. I tell you what we need, actually, guys. We need a nice old medieval song that that kind of that that signifies we're in Shinterfell. It's like a national anthem for Shinterfell. That's what we need. We need a song that we can sing while we're getting drunk down the pub. Oh yeah, that sounds good. Okay, down there and there for the for the other tables. Put some chairs this side and the other side so people can enjoy the view. Oh, just imagine it. I'm here. We just jump on this. Oh, what a, what a tiresome day in the kingdom. Oh, I think I'm going to go down to the Laughing Demon and have myself a nice pint of ale. And you know what? Oh, look at that view. I'll tell you what, is that a pirate ship out there? No way. I guess that sunk when it tried to attack Stinterfell and they sent out all the boats that we don't have. And uh, we wrecked them. We wrecked them good. Oh, yeah, man. People are really going to enjoy coming to, this, uh, coming to this tavern. All right, so we put some seats down this side. Now, we want seats up here as well. We said we were going to partition it, and we can put some beds in here as well. Because I think, you know, an inn has to have places to sleep. 
So uh, what are we going to do? We've got any, yeah, we've got some cobblestone. So I'm just going to put that down for now. I'm just going to partition it, I think, here. One, two, three. One, two, three. So there we go. And now I'll just build this up. Oh, yeah, perfect. The perfect partition. We're going to have to actually get rid of some of these. There is actually enough room in this in this room, in this house, for a loft partition, actually. What we could do is, uh, is build a loft extension. That'd be pretty cool, eh? All right, bam, man, this is way quicker than DIY at home. Look at that, instant partition. So this is gonna be the sleeping room. This is gonna, where people are gonna come and they're gonna have, you know, a nice little sleep. They've got a balcony over here. But what we, yeah, what we might do is turn this into a window, maybe, or, no, leave it as it is, I reckon. I haven't got any beds on us, but I do have loads of wool. Do I still have the wool? No, I guess I took it back, never mind. But we can make a load of beds, and I'll put down the first bed here. And we can just make a whole load more beds for people to come and stay at when they come and stay, stay at the inn. If they're, if they're long after their travels, if they've been on the road for a long time, a few days, a few weeks, a few months even, they need a place to crash, they can come to the Laughing Demon and hang out here. Right, so let's put down these last tables then. Oh, yeah, that looks good. I like it. And with the four tables and chairs left over, we're going to put them down here in the beer garden. Oh, yeah. So if you want to enjoy nature, well, you can in the beer garden. And we'll put a couple of seats there, a couple of seats there. Oh, great stuff. And you've got all these Botania flowers to look out on. What I do is, as I get Botania flowers, I'll put them around here and decorate the outside of the garden so people that come to the tavern and enjoy the garden can enjoy the nice Botania flowers. Right, so that's the last thing to do is the grandfather clock. And that is, of course, going to go right here in the middle of the pub. So where is it? There it is. The dark oak clock, and I'm keen to see what this looks like. What? But it's it's a grandfather clock. It's It's tiny! Why is it so small? Why is it so small? What the frig? What is this a joke? Oh no! We've been ripped off, guys! Okay, never mind. It's okay, it's okay. It's a small clock. I'm just gonna have to put it on the bar, I guess. Oh man, but that sucks. What we'll do is we'll extend the bar over here so no one can get in, but never mind. And we'll put the clock there. There you are. Now you can always see what time it is. And it looks like it's actually, ooh, two o'clock. I think that's keeping real time. If that time is correct, then the sun should be almost about to set. So where is the sun? Is it almost about to set? I have to look out on the balcony over here, I think. Yeah, it is. Oh, wow. So that clock actually works and is actually correct. Okay, so the final thing for the Laughing Demon Tavern, well, actually, there's two final things. The big first one is going to be uh, adding the Laughing Demon sign. And what that's going to do is that's going to replace this coat of arms here. So we'll get the painting off there and we'll get chopping to make the Laughing Demon sign right out here. There it is! Oh, at long last! And after using all these paintings, oh my god, we have the Laughing Demon sign. Does that not look enigmatic and amazing? Oh yeah, what a, such a fantastic artwork for our, for, our, um, for our tavern. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that all over again on the other side so you can see when you come out exactly where you've been. There it is! Oh wow, that was so much quicker this time. Okay, cool. Right, now it's time to put down the bard. Oh man, I love old-fashioned, like, medieval kind of bard tunes. Okay, great. Just play your lute, my friend. Oh no, wait, hang on a sec. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's... Wait, hang on a sec. What? He's... He's going. Where's he going? Oh no, he's hungry! Oh, of course! He wants some food! So he's making a beeline over to the town hall. We're gonna have to make another town hall and stock it up with food at the tavern so that not just him, but any other NPC that works at the tavern doesn't have to come all the way to the town hall to eat. And we're also gonna have to make him a, an instrument, so let's do that right now. Right, so to keep things simple, I reckon we'll give this bard a loot because, well, everything else is just a bit too complicated to make. In fact, actually, you know, let's look at the easiest thing to make. At Ancient War, I think probably a flute must be easier to make. Oh no, it still needs iron. Where's the iron in a flute? That's so weird. Actually, no, it's not that weird because most flutes are made exclusively out of metal. So actually, it's quite normal. Right, so where's the iron? There's a stack of iron. Well, it's 32. Close enough. Let's plonk this into the chest, into the uh, the table, and make him a flute. Do -do -do -do. Right, okay, sweet. Got a flute. Now let's plug it into the bard's face. Oh, no, no, wait. Hang on a sec. 
we need a town hall, of course. Right, okay, mates. So we put the logs in a V. We put... Oh, no, wait, we're going to need some, some stone bricks before we do that. Bam. What a bloody drongo. We'll put stone bricks around the corners, just like that. Put a chest in the middle, and... Oh, there it is, the town hall! Oh, yeah! Now we'll just grab some steaks and some cooked pork chops. It's got loads of both of those. Grab some of that out of the warehouse and put this in the tavern. And now we can give our bard A, a name. Oh, that's going to be amazing. And B, a loot. Or rather, a flute. Do, 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 do. Right, okay. And now my favourite part is giving him an identity. All right, who are we going to make... Uh, who can we make into, uh, into a bard? I'll tell you what, I do have some stock bard... Skins. So we've got that's a bard. Apparently, it looks like a farmhand, really. Bard two. That's a bard. Oh yeah, I like this. It's like um, an angry Will Strife. Well, no, it's it's like a Will Strife uh, without goggles. So we're gonna call him. Well, we haven't actually got Will in the skin pack, I'm afraid to say. But um, it's never too late to start. So we're gonna call this Big Willy Strife. <laughs> oh yeah, what a what a crazy bard name. This guy's gonna play all the amazing hits. So what we do now is we go into the advanced GUI and we click add tune. Now, Ancient Warfare comes stocked with six amazing tunes. So we'll play, we'll try the first one from the list. Ancient Warfare colon bard dot tune one. And the length is one minute 23. The volume is 100. Play on player entry, and random, and the minimum delay, let's say, is 0 0.5. No, we can't say. So the minimum delay is 1, the max delay is 2. Don't know what that means. Oh, he's doing it! Oh, yeah! Listen to that jam! Oh, man. But the problem is, this song is definitely a drum song. And he's got a flute, so we can't have that. We can't have that. All right, what are we going to do then? Well, simple enough. We're going to try tune two. Wait, no, he's, he's still playing. Stop playing. Will. 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 No. No. The drums are going to haunt me forever. <laughs> what am I going to do? Why is he still playing? I think we have to wait the full 1 minute 23, guys. Oh, God. It must be over soon. And there we go. Okay, cool. Right, okay. Right, so the minimum delay is 1. The maximum delay is 2. Random. And go. Oh, that's amazing. Do, 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 do. Oh, this is my jam! Okay, so this one's only 0 0.53 long, so 30 seconds long. Now, I'm not sure if 100's the max volume. Let's try something crazy, guys. Let's try 200. Yeah? That's crazy. Oh! Now, this is a flute song if ever I heard one. Oh my god! Yes, sir! Big Willy Strife! This is the song you're gonna play until the end of time. Oh, now this is another sad lute song. Ah, uh, yes, Will. I've, I've seen enough of your face. I just want to hear your music now. I want to go out onto the, uh, onto the balcony and reflect upon my time at Stinterfell, ladies and gentlemen. What have we built here as I climb this Sakura tree? A great and bold kingdom. But evil threatens. Lord Blackwood has sent his tax collectors to us. And while we have killed them, he must surely know. And it will not be long before he sends reprisal. Which is actually a really good point. We do need to think about getting an army. Well, okay, Will, I reckon I'm going to plonk you down and make you play song number three 
for eternity. There we go. Boom out a flute song, Will. Oh, yes! Big Willy Strife laying out the fat ones. All right, guys. Well, this has been the Laughing Demon Tavern episode where we've built the Laughing Demon Inn. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Get my black razor out. Oh, yeah. Purple blade of death and destruction. So next week, well, I don't know what we'll do. I don't know what we're going to do next episode. But um, I guess what we should do is probably work on Britannia because the sooner I get my wings, the sooner I can get out there and just conquer my castle, build something truly fitting to the kingdom of Stinterfell. Also, what I'm going to do is make myself a bard and put it inside Duncan's house. Oh, God's sake, Will, would you would you stop with the flute already? Oh, my God, he's going to drive me crazy. Well, hit like and favourite, guys, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for some more Rule the World. Take care. news. The Raven from the council, my lord. They wish a meeting. A meeting? What do they want now? They wish a report on the upstart, my lord. Ah, uh, yes. He shows no threatening signs. I don't know why they feel he might be a danger. The fool can barely craft a shovel. The tax collectors we sent have not returned, my lord. I sent scouts and they claim the wagons were attacked. Could be bandits? No. This was him. Send him a raven inviting him over. If the fool thinks he can get away without paying his taxes, it's time we show him the might of the House Blackwood. Once he sees what he's up against, he'll come around. If that's all then... One more thing, my lord. Some of the guards are... Well, they say they can hear her at night when it's quiet, whispering. Hmm. Have my new pet taken to the treasure room. I don't want anybody getting any ideas. Dismissed. <laughs> <laughs>